Okay. So this is our index page for the project. Now, open with live server. Um, Okay, go to localhost. Slash pages. Slash show. This is the end. End of the system. So I want to add Bootstrap to this. It will take some time to learn more of Bootstrap. This will help our CSS journey to be very fast. Instead of uh, writing everything by hand, uh, we can leverage on Bootstrap to achieve some speed in uh in our css all right so let's go back to code now we know we are going to also have we implement the login page login the html but then in this our index we are going to have me on a site that we can so my network is for I don't know let me open a site we can have a look at let's say this is jumia.com.ng okay we will need a header like this I want to have a header like this with search bar this um two bar here with a search something. Uh, we are not doing a, considering what is on the top of this advert area. We'll just have this session. Okay. Now, I want to get to Bootstrap. I'm picking, uh, we need to pick Bootstrap to bar. First of all, to add Bootstrap to your project, you can copy the CSS link. Just the way we have been linking CSS to our page, you can link the CDN and Bootstrap will be included in your project. Then for the JS bundle, I just go to getbootstrap.com. Just type your bootstrap, search for bootstrap, see the site, getbootstrap.com, and then the, the home page. The home page of. No, that's a. Yes, yes, that's a copy link. And when you finish, you have a copy. You just come and paste it in your code. And that's it. Now to confirm that we have Bootstrap now, we can then create a button. And this is a button as usual. We say let's uh, submit. You can mute yourself to reduce uh, the echoes. 
so that is a class in beating bootstrap or beating and now you can see i have a bootstrap helper installed in my ide you can see so many of the bootstrap related uh, classes coming up for me so what i want to do here is to give a bootstrap button and then i want to give it a button dark uh, but the button should be black so if i come to my page already in link to the project you can see we now have a very nice looking black button and uh, you, you see our site is already not responding to uh, bootstrap bootstrap is well added so what i want to do is to create the header using bootstrap so instead of writing the css by hand what, what i want to do is if we want to do this by hand i just want to demonstrate a little of it before i switch to the bootstrap so i could say dot um that's a two bar and then the first one i could say dot uh, and let's say brand and then this brand is uh, the name of the company we we'll say now this is a goodie mat and then after this brand i have the next the next being a search bar dot search boss and inside the search box i will have the input and placeholder he said this placeholder is the test you will see on that input search for product here or just search for product is okay please you can mute yourself so that i can know okay after this then we can have another session called um tools let us see let's call it buttons what's the moment let me click it from hello hello Uh, uh, EG network, your home guard in the can send any way. I hear you can prove okay. So now the first button is um, let's see, cut. So I say cut. I'm just going to use words now before we switch to icon. So let's go back again. Let's uh, look at what we are going to have on the page at the moment. So you see the way they are he displaying here, but we want them to display horizontally like this. So what we could do is then create a class. I'm going to just do the CSS um, section here. Then I have the two bar. Okay, so our display is um, say flex. Can get this then. Then flex direction. Flex direction is uh, called the row. And the gap, we can say the gap that is the distance between each of the items, say 20 pixels. So now, if we come back again to the page, you look at what we're going to see, they are not in horizontal order. We are not getting something close to what we are seeing here. Okay, then we can start our title to look different, and then increase the size of this, restyle this thing to look more like a uh, what we are having here then we have the search button we have the account something so that is but then what i'm what i want to do is to use the bootstrap to create this header and have it uh, lay out fast so what we are going to do now we go to components in bootstrap now all those things are called component button is a component this even the input are also the nav bar. I think this is a nav bar. What we are looking for is a nav bar. Okay. 
So we click on nav bar. Now, if you look at what you have here, this is exactly the example of what we are looking for or something similar to this. But then let's see different variants we can look at in the nav bar here. So when you look at this page, you can see different variants of what you're looking for. So let me pick this. Then we'll make adjustment because we... All right, so instead of this, don't need this style. And then I don't also need this. So I paste this in our code, and where we have uh, uh, nav bar scroll, is it the example I picked? Which one is scroll here? Okay, let's just look at, now you look at our site, now we have a very beautiful nav bar, and this is becoming interesting. So we are not going to really make it look like this. I think we should have our own a bit different. Um, but what I'm thinking also, we can. Okay, let's let's go back now and make our adjustments. So our company name is Goody Mart. Okay. Now. Now, one thing about Bootstrap I want to show us is already Bootstrap is built, uh, has level of uh, responsive uh, mobile feature. So when you, you, you use Bootstrap tools like this, you, have, you can enjoy those. So you see that when we visit our site with a mobile phone or a smaller screen, this is how our it now appears. The menu is hidden. But when you click on the menu, the menu icon, you see that they are coming up. So we've been able to achieve this level of um, work with just the code we had. Now you can also see that this search bar is no longer in this section, but it's uh, a bit smaller when it's on the full screen because of the design, the uh, example there. So we have been able to achieve a lot of flexibility then I want to make this thing dark. We are using a dark theme. So if we come back and you will see that it's dark. Okay, we now have our our uh, two bytes. And then the test should be um, white. So what we have to do now is enough bar light. Is enough bar dark and that's what we have not bg dark i think that's what we should have they not bg dark only so let's look at what we have there again all right so you see we have all the items the uh, tests are now white now apart from our home this link now we can say this is um I want to remove all this link and bring the search bar to the section after the good demand. So what we are literally doing is editing this, what we've gotten. So I want to bring the search bar here. So what we do now is go to where we have the inputs. Okay, this is our input. So I'm taking away this input. And the button, I take them away. And I just put a different button here. Let's see, this will be login. 
because the class beating in. Now we come up to where we have all these list items, NAVDA uh, items. And if you look at our page, you see after this link, you see this is a drop down. So what we want to do is to replace all this one, including the home, because we don't need the home. So we we'll come here. This is where it starts from the this item number item. We have another number item. Then you have another one. This list. So we are replacing them all. Replace all these and put these two here. So I come back again, check what we are having. Yes. So we now have our search close to our title. Then we have to increase the length of this um, search bar. But then we'll On the button I created here, the login, I'm trying to look for it. The flags BTN, SA. BTN um, info. All right, so we we'll see our login here. And then we we'll see our search. So when you come here now, you are getting something more in line with what we are seeing, what we want to see. Okay, so our search is not going to be this type of, it should be just pure green like this and not on the, uh, the corner and test being green. So what we're going to do is to change the style on that button, the search button. So now you look at the search button, this is the search button. You remove this outline. This outline is what is making the the border to be the only colored the border and the test. So when we remove this and save, you see that our test have been our test is now green. Our button is green. Sorry. Yeah. So this is what we uh, want to achieve here. Now. We extend the size of this, but then let's add the other buttons. That is, we add this um, main drop down. You know, we already have the drop down before, which I removed. That is, if you come here, is we already have something like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop down area. That is, um, yeah, this is where we have it, and I'm going to move this to. Going to move this to before the login. So let's have it here now. And what we are going to have here is account, that's the name. And then when you click on it, you see you have account, uh, that is where you now have my account uh, orders and the save items. So those are the three things we have to consider here. So we have here now my account. Then we have here others. And then save items. So now we we need to also put this the divider. But before I put it, we just you need to look at what happens if it is not there. So if we click on we need to 
where is it drop down menu okay this is a form of my uh, let's make this a div it's not supposed to be a form Start called test Y. Facebook is the binder. When we have an issue here, we need to bring this in later. So let's uh, finish up with the order first. The next one we have is um, a help and then cut button. Now this is two, after this two, so call this one help. And then we have the next one, cut. Now if you look at the items are too close to each other so it now makes it not um, to look nice yeah they're too close to each other so what we are going to do is to um we're going to space them and spacing it is not hard with using bootstrap that's with our margin what we could have done is margin. i'm changing not using info here just with this bit in now we call m one this m is margin one and let's just look at it at this point yes okay so this is our m1 and we also put m1 here And then we we'll put M1 here. So when we come back to our page, yes, you see that they are well spaced from each other now. The spacing is very nice. But then if you want, again, we can still increase this spacing if we want. You say uh, this is not enough. Yes, no problem. We can increase this spacing. And then Now, I am looking for the one that uh, the background will just be white. So let me see the BG light. I think um, BTN light, that should be what I'm looking for. Light. All right, so let's look at it again. Okay, this is what I. I just want it to look like this. So we have gotten our header now, and what is left is our uh, drop down item. Okay, I see why the drop down item wasn't working. I made a mistake there. I only copied the section for the item, the list that we show. So what will happen is, let me paste this here. I only copy from this section, so we need uh, this.
finish this. Let me take this back again. And add this. I think that's all. So let me get rid of this. Okay, yeah, this is where I start to this. And then uh, uncomment this. All right, so let's try again and look at what we get now. Okay, so we have our link here and we have our uh, menu item. So what we did, we need now, we pick this. Yes, and replace this. Okay, and then We come here and close this. So we can equally make um, Let's try again. Okay, so here uh, we have the link, we click here. So let me edit it now and change the content to what we are expecting. Now uh, this is account. And then this is my account. This is others. This is saved items. Saved items. So this now, instead of NAF link, you say BTN link. I want it to look like the rest of the button. Okay. So just remove the link. So that's what do we have in them? BTN light. So you call this BTN light. You need to even change it to a button too. But you don't really want it to be a link. It's not linking to anywhere. Call it the button. Now let's look at what we have. Okay. Okay, though our button is currently not looking like the rest, but we have the look. I think uh, I'm missing the uh, what is it called? Um, I'm missing the okay, the margin, yeah, M one. Okay. 
okay so there is space between it now and the rest but then instead of this list because we don't need to list anything actually so i will bring this thing here bring it drop down and then i comment this list Let's see how it goes, if we can get what we are looking for. Okay. Okay. Bring it back. So we just leave it like this at this moment. We We'll proceed with it later on so let's just continue with what we are discussing now so from what we have you see we have gotten a nice looking uh, header for our business which we can still modify and this one you see that they are flat buttons if we want our buttons uh, to also look like this if you come to bootstrap look at buttons so that we can customize our buttons yeah, see this is more, but then you look at this. So what we can see here is a bit and bit and light. I think that's what we have there and say type is button. So let's pick one of these and You can scroll up in this button section to look at different ways the button can be styled by using different classes. Okay, this session is for the missing. Um, so we go back again. So in this case, what we are missing is what is not just a type. <clears throat> Now, after this section, we know that we also have something that should be uh -huh, below in this cell, uh, in, the, in the body of the site. So we implement this other side tomorrow. If you have any question, you can ask. We begin to implement this one after the other, and uh, we then create our login page. we we'll create our product page also, which we will use to fetch product from the server and load on our page and our site now. When we are loading the product, use, I just want to show us an example, we we'll use a card like this, so each of the product, you see them like this. So you see one product here, the other one by the next to it, this should be the product image, and then this should be the title of the product, something like this, or we can modify it to look a bit different. So then we line up all of them. Then when somebody click on it, we then go to the product detail page. You, you can ask your question, please. Just like what we have here. Yes, we can. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow. We we'll added an icon to our project. So we'll do that tomorrow. Now there's something, okay. Um, above. Yeah, I should do that today before leaving for my work today. Although since I work from home, uh, I have more flexibility, but I have something to do outside the house today. 
So before I leave, I'll put it on my. All right, so we actually proceed. We because we will need to customize some of our buttons. We we'll do that with using our uh, CSS now. Like in this case, look at these buttons are not having um, uh, shadows like what we have here. So it's not a problem. We can have our own uh, look and feel. We design our own buttons. That would be fine too. So I think we we'll stop that today. To we meet again tomorrow. All right, bye. Yeah, thank you.